Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I have a very special guest with me, KP Powers from <laughs> Rubber special. Moon Art Stamps. <laughs> oh, so gosh. special. Yes, thanks for having me. It's been a wonderful few days. Um, Elizabeth and I met last fall in October for a Golden Artist Educator Program. And in New Orleans, and yes, which and, was awesome. Yep, yeah, and we, uh, well, I hit her up to do some rubber stamps, and she agreed. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I, I, uh, this woman gave. How, how can I not agree? I have my own line of design stamps with Rubber Moon, which is super cool. Um, I did a lot of shapes and patterns and swirls and spirals and dots and spots and marks and lines, and I did them with um, in mind to make hand painted papers for my collage. So when I use the stamps, I'm using them to. To add texture and pattern to my papers that I use for collage. So that was my goal with the stamps and what I use them for, but since KP's been here, she has been teaching me all kinds of other things, amazing things that you can do yes, with I've been rubber giving, stamps. I've been giving her my my tutorial tidbit. Yes, I've been <laughs> tootled. In between <laughs> shopping, going to the beach, going to concert, grocery store teaching what? a class oh yeah we, we taught a class awesome that yes was so fun. we've been to the grocery store several times so but now we wanted to share some tutorial tidbits with you yes we have um the really kp's tidbit tutorial tidbits because it, she opened my eyes to things that you can do art that you can create with rubber stamps that i that go way beyond just stamping them on the back of a birthday card envelope so so check it out. Yeah, but She's, we got her collaging some of her stamps. I collaged too, in so. some of the stamps. Oh, I, so. I, yeah, we we've got some really. She's got some amazing concepts for stamps. So so let's go check it out. All right, yay. Okay, we're in the garage studio and we've got the table set up with a whole bunch of fun products. So what we're using to stamp the stamps is a combination of Rubber Moon's Moonlight Duo Tint and Hue Stamp Ink Pads as well as golden paints, fluid acrylics, and some high flow acrylics. And then we've got our uh, variety of uh, rubber moon stamps. We're gonna give you the names of these as we use them. And all of mine are under, uh, you find them on rubbermoon.com, and then you shop by artist, and then you scroll down to Elizabeth St. Hilaire. Okay, and uh, what else? That's it. That's we, it. We're that's we're that's what we're using. Yeah. Okay. We, couple, we got a couple of four by four little wooden substrate, you know, wood panel substrates that we have gessoed. And, and we started. We got sort of to a point of um, of beginning so that uh, we could make this a quick tidbit. Although I have a feeling it's going to be a, <laughs> a, a, longer, a tid longer tidbit. <laughs> you're in. You're in for a bonus. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to just say that I started this by uh, using the uh, big blossom stamp and I uh, and my uh, and the tint uh, pad and I stamped it on here and then I painted around the outside edges the negative space with my uh, fluid acrylics a combination I did a darker layer and then I did a lighter layer on top so that's the little dark edge you see around there and that's what I've got going so far and I have just taken a few um, of a few more stamps than Elizabeth started with she just started with one I have here the tribal tail stamp which is one of my favorites um, and then I just uh, repeat stamped it in a couple different colors again using the fluid acrylics and um, I then stamped this larger daisy stamp in the center just I know it looks really busy right now but uh, there's a, a method to the madness and then we both went ahead and painted our sides and so everything's ready for our second layer right? all right yeah we're ready for our second layer it's dry which is important um all this stuff dries rather quickly especially here in florida but um you want to make sure that it's dry before you go on to the next layer and if you need um uh to speed that up you can always use a hair dryer uh although we don't always recommend hair dryer uh i i rather use a a, a fan that uh circulates room temperature air that speeds the drying without heat okay so um so do you want me to say what i'm what yeah, i'm going to do yeah. next okay so so what i'm going to add now is an element of, of of collage because you know i have to put that in and um so i've got my my glue and i've got some collage papers and just to show you um how i did this i am choosing pinks and i am applying the glue I'm trying to stay in the shape of the pattern. I'm tearing my pieces and I'm going to use I'm using a variety of pinks 
I'm not going to use the same paper in every petal. And I'm not going to worry if I go outside of the lines a little bit because that's the fun. And plus you have a secret a secret element at the end. I have a <laughs> secret element. I think don't give it away. Oh, sorry. I didn't. Oh. It's a well, secret. it's there's suspense now there's <laughs> right, suspense. Right. Huh. So basically this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to add some collage paper into the shapes of my flower, brushing the glue over the top, flattening it out, making sure this is all dry so that it doesn't smudge and bleed. And I'm going to go on and, and finish that. Um, and, and you're up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so batter up. Okay, so I um, am going to take the big blossom stamp. And um, many times, so our stamps are cling mounted, so they will stick onto a an acrylic block if you need a precision more precision stamping you may want to use your acrylic block many times if I'm just doing or you know or we are just doing texture or just you know sort of background patterns that you don't need to be as precise you can even just take your stamp like this and ink it and and stamp it but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the acrylic block and I'm gonna use my little darker shade of my moonlight duo here this one is called Aurora Teal, and I'm gonna ink that baby up. It's a nice day out. We got some birds singing in yeah, the background. Yeah, it's so beautiful here. Oh goodness, and I love the warm weather. Yes. I mean, well, just... you wouldn't want to be here in August. <laughs> no, April's good. Anyway, I'm just gonna overstamp this, and it's gonna, I know, look a little bit busy, but that's okay. I'm gonna stamp it three times and just sort of offset it. And I think I'm gonna take a smaller flower now. This is the um, daisy stamp again. How do you like all these hands in here? <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, a class that I took in college where they ran three videos at the same time and you had to take notes. <laughs> So I'm gonna, uh, we're, I'm gonna just step back for a second, watch you for a minute um, while that dries a little bit. All right. Well, I've got uh, two more petals to go. I'm just um, looking for some dark sort of pink tones in this big box of pink I got going here. Yeah, I wish I had a bigger suitcase to take some of your collage papers back with me. <laughs> oh, you have to be a really <laughs> special to take collage papers back uh, with you. I know. Right. No, I'm just kidding. So I've got pinks, I've got reds, I've got oranges. Sort of just a combination of, uh, oh, that's kind of pretty, yeah, huh? that's really neat. Of warm colors. Throw one more petal in here. Well, but you're going to end up with a little set. Yes, I'm going to end up with a little set, which could be fun, hanging a few of them next to one another. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. All right, and I'm going to, and this probably isn't all the way dry, but I'm going to, you know, be sort of careful, although it's not imperative. It's not, and I'm taking a dark Payne's Gray again in the fluid acrylic, and I'm just going to paint out my background. So I'm painting in the negative space with a dark color that sort of matches and it's not imperative that it matches, but it happens to match my outline that I stamped my daisy stamp in. And you'll see all those little fun patterns begin to pop out and your shapes sort of come into focus. Yeah, so, so all that fun stuff that was going on underneath that looked really busy is now becoming the, 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 the base of it. I love it. I love this technique. I... I, I uh, I had no idea you could do such cool things with stamps. Oh, I wish you I wish you had your little piece of your, your people you could show. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll get it while you're working. All right, yeah. So Elizabeth was doing a, fundra uh, doing a piece of art for a fundraiser, and so it turned out really, really cool. And she's going to go grab it and share that with you because I want to show you can do it, on, you know, do this on. So here, we'll... Move this slide this yeah, out of yeah. the way and just show it real quick so this little thing stands up and kp showed me how to do that negative space layer layer technique and i love it so i did my whole uh centerpiece for the uh 
auction table and there you go yeah, and i love how you reversed it so and i see. yeah yeah I, I reversed it so i've got one figure with the dark on the outside and one figure with the dark on the inside and again that was kp's idea she's full of amazing ideas of what you can do with these fantastic <laughs> so, stamps so you're getting all sorts of tidbits today yes all right so come on back in oh, oh. i'm over here come on off. back right, in right, thank you i'm over here painting on the side all right well that's getting... good then so and um, one reason for painting your edges first, but if you if you get something that you don't like um, or any spills on the side that you don't want, just take a little baby wipe while the paint's still wet and you can run it right along the side and clean that off if you need to. As well as you can clean, this is a good great way to keep your stamps clean and in good condition with the baby wipes. Yeah, yeah, so, and you wanna obviously get it while the paint's still wet. Yes, you have to get it while the paint's wet. This is not gonna come off when it's dry, so keep a baby wipe close at hand so you can keep your stamps in the best shape. They last a long time if you take good care of them. Yeah, yeah. All right, so are you, do you, are you ready for your... I think I am. I'm hoping right. that the glue is dry. Um, even if it's not dry, you know, for the purpose of demonstrating. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, black, and I'm going to stamp on top of this. So I'm going to... KP taught me how to do this, too. So instead of trying to, trying to line this up on here, I'm just going to put the stamp down, and I'm going to apply the ink this way. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap it on there. Keeps your fingers cleaner too. <laughs> yeah, it keeps your fingers cleaner too, and that's important when you're touching things and trying to tear collage papers. You want to have your fing fingers clean. So I think I got good contact there, and except for right here. Oh, that was the a little bit of white there. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna try to line this back up. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined, but I'm gonna I'm I'm focusing on this little piece that goes there. So that's like that, and I'm over stamping so now i'm introducing that line of the flower pattern the big blossom i'm bringing it back in on top of my collage papers and there's the big reveal Woo! look yeah, at that that makes good. me so she's happy done good, isn't oh my she? god I, I mean i it's not totally perfectly lined up but i love the way that it's slightly shifted Offset, yeah. because my collage papers weren't perfectly lined up either but that fantastic i love it okay so for my next layer i'm gonna take um this single solitary leaf stamp and then um, a stamp that we, this is not an Elizabeth St. Hilaire stamp. This is a KP stamp. Oh, the nerve. I, well, I know. <laughs> I, oh. get, I get one plug in here. I'm hey. going away. <laughs> I'm going in the house. So this is, and I'm sorry, it is a mess because we have used and used and used it in classes. And I guess we didn't teach the baby wipe tip. Anyway, so this <laughs> is called the splatter stamp. And I'm going to actually um, ink or not ink but paint my stamp up with um a little bit of bronze uh fluid acrylic and i'm actually going to i have a piece of palette paper here and i'm just going to spread out a thin layer of paint on it and then i'm going to use this as my stamp pad right right so um because i want this bronzy color and i'm going to stamp again my solitary leaf stamp and my little splatter stamp right over the top here. I hear your babies in there. Yes, they're <laughs> frustrated. They want to be out here with us and they can't figure out why they're not. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this, and even if it goes on to my flowers, it's okay, because if I don't want it there, I can always take a, a moist baby wipe and wipe some of that away if I need to, but it's looking good. I'm, it's not that bronze color, just. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful, especially on that dark background. So and then that's pretty much it. I will take a couple other little colors um, just for a little more added pop, I'm going to take uh, my bronze again and sort of touch the centers of these flowers. I know there's a technical name for the center of flowers. Oh, yes. But, Something to do with pollination. Yeah, but I can't remember, so we're just Pistons, gonna, yeah. stamens, pistols. pistols, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the center of my flower. Pop a little bronze in there. And um, also, I love love a little bit of fluorescent and this is Ooh, the the high flow the high flow and i'm just taking it's a very uh translucent so i'm taking just the tiniest bit on my brush and i'm gonna go ahead and 
just touch a couple areas in these flowers and that'll give it some nice pop. Very nice. All right, so speaking of adding a little metallic, I've got, this one is light with the dark contrast of the line, which I love. This one is a little darker and it's got the black line on it, but it's not quite so standing off like this one is. So I'm gonna add um, some of that same bronze paint to my big blossom stamp. So I'm Wanna gonna- use my paint? Uh, yes, okay. So I'm gonna do it in a little different way, show you that you can apply the paint in a little different way. Um, I'm gonna take a nice wide brush with the bronze paint and I'm just gonna drag it sort of across the top of this stencil, I mean stamp, and try not to get it all down in the low points. Just really important that your brush be pretty dry and not have very much moisture, if any at all, because then it'll run into there and... Yeah, you really try want to try to avoid getting it down into the center. But uh, I probably should have done what you did, but this works. No, it's okay. I'm also not... You're not mashing. You're I'm, not a masher. Yes, no, I'm not a masher. But I'm also not... If some of that uh, were to transfer, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I don't need it to be to be perfectly... Perfectly... Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to... Um, I'm not... I have not got my stamp on the, on the block because, I, again, mine doesn't need to be totally perfect. I'm feeling like I, I like the organic kind of if it gets a little less crisp. So those are just two different ways you can use the stamp, right? With yeah, block yeah, mounted sure. or, or yeah, not. Sure. So So... Um, so um, again, I've, I'm lucky I've got this, this little uh, petal to line up with, so I'm gonna put that right there and press, trying not to mash. mash. <laughs> and then, um, ooh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that. And you got it a little thick in a good way because it's adding a little more texture and you're still seeing your dark black lines and oh that looks beautiful. I like that. I think I like the middle was a little darker before so I don't know if I add back how about you got some paints gray. Yeah yeah. I'm gonna put a little dark right here. What do you think about that? Yeah. Ah uh, nice right? Mm -hmm. All right so Beauteous. look Ooh. at that so we got Wow, this is a this could be a pa this this should be a fabric pattern for a bathing Ooh, suit. I'm making we're a dress. We're making bikinis. <laughs> I'm making a skirt. Right? But we no. you know how we love no, bathing no. suits. I think the dress is a better idea. All right. Oh, well, gosh. thank you Thanks for being for here with us. So much. Oh, it's absolutely. It's um it's been a blast, and I hope that um this long tutorial was was interesting. It's twice as long because it's twice as much fun right, and twice as many people. Right. <laughs> Two times the fun. Two times the fun. Thank you for being here, and we will see you next week. Yep. Well, I won't, but you will. All right. <laughs>